This is Click This, the Kevin Nash podcast. He's Kevin, I'm Sean. Who knows what we'll cover today? And that's why you come here, don't you, people? You don't want predictability. Maybe hey, give you a show title, but. So where we were, though, we, I guess we got to go back because like it, it's the most probably newsworthy death of the week is OJ's. Yeah. And I had said off air how crazy it was, you know, even in, in retrospect now, but in 95, I was on a, on a plane and I was flying and definitely in the business, you know, going from town to town. And the pilot came on and said, well, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a verdict in the O.J. Simpson trial. And then he, you know, gave us the fucking like, 20 seconds. I'm going, it's, you know, this can't be good. He waited 20 seconds. He said, not guilty. And I remember if I could sit in my seat going, yes. Because to Kevin Nash, at that point in my life, O.J. Simpson was a, a Buffalo Bill that ran for 2,002 yards in the fucking snow. And he was, you know, naked gun. So you kid, weren't connected to... I wasn't connected to... The I crime... I was connected to... The, the football hero. And then as time goes on, and you realize he was a 1968 Heisman Trophy winner. He did nothing... For civil rights, he did nothing for the black man. He did nothing. I mean, he he basically just he, he knew that his money was to be neutral. But you are sitting there and you're thinking about the guy that ran in the snow. I'm thinking about the Buffalo. guy that ran in the snow. Now, okay. if I told you okay. Gacy ran out of his house in Chicago in the snow to get a hot dog or something, no, because not... my first my my first you know. Um, knowledge of Gacy was that he you know, was a fucking clown that killed kids. So I remember that like gal like the uh, he painted like a, a bunch of you know he used to paint clowns. Yes yeah, his paintings he used to send his, them yes, from his prison. Painting, to yeah his paintings are out there and I always thought like because I always thought one of the coolest things you could have would would, would be to, to buy OJ's Heisman trophy. But now, in retrospect, it, it, it's 64 years old. And I, yeah, I, hope I can put that on a fucking pedestal right next to my Gacy painting. Exactly. There's a market for murder memorabilia. People that collect things, objects with a little outre in its in their past. Yeah, see, I don't know. What was that, 8 millimeter? that movie with Nicolas Cage? Yeah, 8 millimeter. Yeah. But I remember watching that on a... Uh, like a paf channel in a hotel when I was on the road by myself and fucking getting up and like double bolting the fucking door like Phew. It took me it was some dark ass shit what movies changed the way you live the haunting it was do you remember the the walls fucking it was like it was a, it was an old film I was a kid when that came out yeah Fantasia, Fantasia, whatever it was, with the fucking tall man. Which was it? I'm, I'm, Fantasia I'm thinking of is Mickey Mouse. I don't think you were terrified no, of that. Is, the the lines at Disney are terrified. This is the one with it had the, the guy that picks the casket up, puts it in the back of it. It had like an embalming ball that zipped around and stuck to your head. It's an old horror film. I got the DVD at home. Phantasm? And Phantasm, that's what it was called. Yes. I always thought the tall man. We could the re, tall re, man. We could called, redo right? that, and I could, and I could be the tall man. Nineteen seventy nine. So I was, I was, I was, a sophomore in college. I rewatched it about a year ago, and it wasn't as. Oh no, no. I, I remember the vibe you're talking about. I remember when the first Exorcist came out, and like my brother and I. Had like you know we had a stereo in our in our room uh -huh. with it uh, with the speakers and a turntable, but it also had a record radio, and it had eight track, you know. And I think I had eight track and a cassette. Yeah, and One um, of those gimmicks. Yeah, yeah, and sometimes you know we just we 
put on an album, like put on like a, a Pink Floyd or something like that, and then just take the arm off and just let that motherfucker play it all night long. <laughs> yeah, just over and you wake up. And uh, I don't know if I got to. 